Hey everyone, my name is Simon Freund and I'm a professional tennis player from Sweden. Today I'm going to take you guys with me as I have this great opportunity to practice with the Pepperdine men's tennis team. They're a great group of guys, it's some great tennis and I'm really excited about this day. So to kick off today, I made sure to have some morning mobility. Got to make sure to get this old body moving. And then of course, I made sure to warm up a couple of karate moves because you never know when those are going to come in handy. Yeah, after getting all my stuff ready for the day, I head out and I actually have a very scenic drive here. You drive up the beautiful PCH in order to get to Pepperdine. I actually think Pepperdine is voted as one of the most beautiful campuses in the world. And here you really see why. As I get up to the facility, you can see that the whole college campus is just full alive. You can see the water polo, I think, or the swim team is already up there swimming away. And it's like, yeah, it's like 7, 15 o'clock in the morning and all these kids are just up and at it. It's really cool to be back here. I actually haven't been been here in a while but when i played college tennis myself at ucsb we actually played regionals here Come on, let's go. <laughs> and i have some of my greatest memories from this place where in 2016 i played a big college tournament here the day before the tournament started i actually got stung by stingray but that's a story for another day but me and Morgan Mays actually ended up winning regionals for the first time in program history and uh, yeah it's just a lot of great memories from this spot right here It's an early morning here as we have a very early practice actually starting at 7.30. And this is something that's pretty common in college tennis as all these guys, you know, they're student athletes. So they actually have a lot of classes during throughout the day. So they got to make sure to practice early. And I actually think they have weights before this practice starting at 7.30. So they're probably in the weight room from 6.30. <laughs> so compared to them, I actually have like a bit of a sleep in here. We ended up having a little bit of an on-court warm-up that I joined in and we actually had a very similar program when I was at UCSB so it kind of really just was pretty nostalgic feeling like I was back in college again and, and just one of the yeah the college tennis players. Then we got into some hitting and for this morning session, I think the, the kind of focus was a lot of reps. So we just ended up doing a lot of hitting. It was actually a little wet on one side. So we had to be a little cautious there. So we made sure to move on the left side here as that was more dry. But yeah, just started hitting a lot, like up the middle, make sure to hit through all the shots here, a lot of cross courts. And then we had a quick little water break and it's actually pretty funny looking back at this right now like how much steam is actually coming out of our because our body heat is pretty high and it's still kind of chilly here in the morning but uh, yeah it actually looks pretty cool here on video uh, i think <laughs> and then doing a little bit of a two cross one line and just just really getting that movement just focusing trying to move the feet as much as possible moving forwards and backwards and uh, yeah just trying to get the body ready here After this, we went into some volley drills. I actually really liked this one after we uh, warmed up the volleys, like hitting through back and forth together and getting in some overheads. We moved into, yeah, this volley drill where you end up hitting the first volley down the middle, the second volley to a decided corner. And from there, the other guy in the back, he has an opportunity to hit the ball wherever he wants and try to pass you. And yeah, you just play the point out there. And I kind of like this drill as it makes you focus on like just really getting good depth on that first ball getting good depth on the second ball and then just getting better at covering up the court really trying to you know cover down the line as much as possible but then also being ready for that cross court ball in case you didn't get that good of a depth on your like first ball uh, first volley there cross court and uh, yeah i really enjoyed this drill it was a lot of fun it's kind of especially for me that I really enjoy you know being at the net and, and playing a lot of like net oriented uh, tennis Wow. 
following this volley drill, we moved into some serve and return. Just made sure to, yeah, just hit through all the shots here as I felt was really the focus for this morning practice. And after getting it ready, we ended up having some cross court matches. I think this was also because the court was still a little wet. So we made sure to try to move forward and backward as much as possible and not that much sideways. So we just ended up having a couple serve and uh, like half court. We had to serve a volley if you make a first serve. Just played a lot of points. I was pushed on the back court, so we got to enjoy it. There's a lot of, a lot of great points here, and uh, yeah, all these guys just bring a lot of energy. I think that's what college tennis is about, and uh, yeah, just having a great time out there, bringing energy, trying to get better together, and yeah, just enjoying tennis out of here. So with that, we finished off the morning session of tennis. After this, got a little shower quickly. Uh, they have a beautiful locker room here in Pepperdine. Are you videoing now? <laughs> yeah. Are you still the video? But after finishing up with a shower, I made sure to try to get some food in the stomach and have a little bit of a nap. I actually got really tired, I, obviously getting up early. And uh, yeah, just made sure to have a little power nap, getting ready for the second session of today. So I was thinking like, so I've been recording a little bit during the day, so I might like put together a video for like, so for the second session here with Pepperdine, I really wanted to play some match play and luckily for me one of the guys didn't really have class throughout the day so I ended up playing with Maxi Hamburg, a great player from Germany. He's a sophomore here at Pepperdine and uh, yeah we decided to have a little, little gameplay here for the second session of the day. So for this practice, we really just wanted to try to get into point play as quickly as possible. So we had about like a five, 10 minute warm up, just hitting down the middle a little bit, getting up the, the volleys, uh, some overheads, and then some serving returns. And then we just wanted to get straight into some, some match action here. So I had uh, some opportunities straight away in this match. I had two great points here, but I didn't really take them. And then uh, I feel like Max was playing some great tennis. He was really being on top of me all the time. And I kind of struggled a little bit to time the ball and kind of like get anywhere because these courts are actually pretty bouncy. And I feel like Max's game actually works very well here as he just swings through it, hits the ball so heavy with so much spin and kind of like weight to the ball that it's very tricky for me to, to get anywhere because I really want to get to the net, but I was kind of struggling a little bit with my serve, so I was not getting too many opportunities to come forward here. So Maxi ended up playing some good tennis here, and uh, yeah, it really put me to the test here.
So I ended up losing the first set there against Maxi. I feel like I had some opportunities there in the last game to, to break him back. But uh, yeah, just kind of, yeah, I feel like I kind of messed that up a little bit. But all credit to Maxi. I feel like he played a good set there. And yeah, it was just better than me. So we got the first set there. 6-3. Before we go any further in this video, I quickly just want to tell you guys about probably the best tool in the world to help you improve your tennis game, Swing Vision. By simply using your mobile phone to record your practice, you'll get access to Swing Vision software and there you can get like all super valuable insight and data on like your forehand, your movement through like heat maps and like score tracking and I don't know, just so much powerful stuff. I can't even like comprehend how much stuff it actually gives you and swing vision even helps you edit or like watch through your footage more efficiently let's say that you only want to see your forehands from practice you simply tell the software like i only want to see my forehands so then you don't have to like scream through your footage looking for all your forehands it just showcase you all the forehands you hit throughout the practice so yeah make sure to check out swing vision use the link down below to get there and get more information about it it's a super powerful and really cool software so make sure to check that out hope you guys enjoy it For the second set, I actually had a bit of a rough start. Uh, Trying to go for a lot of pancake serve. I actually think I won most of those, but I was just kind of struggling with the game, uh, especially on my forehand side. I kind of just ended up pushing a few balls like straight into the net. And yeah, ended up getting broken straight away here in the second set. So for the second set here, my main focus was to really just keep on working with my serve and then try to get a little bit more depth on the ball in order to keep Maxi back from just putting a lot of pressure on me and hopefully with better depth will give me more opportunities to try to come forward and I also really wanted to work on and also really want to work on being more aggressive on second serve returns just really trying to just make something happen there maybe even come forward to the net but just really making sure to be a little bit more aggressive on this first like one two shots in this game and uh, yeah just trying to take you from there As you might see here, it was a little tricky. I was I was not feeling the ball uh, perfectly, and yeah, I was just not hitting the ball as clean as I would have liked to. But it's just very important here to just try to stay focused, try to focus on just doing the right stuff over and over again, and just kind of trusting the process here. Uh, just trying to stick with it, uh, no matter how bad it felt. Just try to be positive with it, and uh, yeah, just keep scraping away here. So as the second set progressed, I feel like I kept managing to just put pressure on him to maintain his level and he had a bit of a hiccup here where he ended up missing a lot of first serves so he kind of gave me the opportunity and I tried to be extra aggressive on second serves, really tried to just kind of force it and, and try to come forward.
and uh, yeah finally managed to break him there to 5-3 and uh, yeah let's see if I can serve out the second set Finally managed to serve the second set home and with that we ended up ending the practice on a tie there so three six six three and uh, thanks a lot to maxi for the practice he actually had to run off because he had class right after the so following the session i made sure to have a shower and just kind of relax a little bit and most of the other guys were starting to pop back up again after they had some classes throughout the day and i think they had the afternoon practice one more time here at 3 p.m really cool here you know like a super intense schedule and all the respect to these guys you know being full-time students and still practicing and just being so dedicated to their tennis game but now it's time for me to leave these guys and let them continue to get better and uh just a huge thank you to the team for letting me join in huge shout out to the coach tassie for letting me join in and to adam who's not here is actually sharing on one of the top players who's actually playing australian open qualifying right now i think he's about to play them the final round of qualities in australian open so obviously he's doing great and it's just a testament to the great work that these guys are doing here at pepperdine for myself following this very intense first half of the day practicing with the team i headed up to my friend's place in Calabasas it's a beautiful drive as you're going through the mountains here from like Malibu coast you're going into the mountains into Calabasas and yeah it's just a beautiful scenic drive there so I went to Calabasas my friends were obviously playing some tennis and, and obviously it was very hard to say no so I ended up playing a little bit more tennis might finish up with a couple of serves before trying to just wind down get to some editing and, and other work and uh, yeah just trying to uh, wind down for the day Thanks a lot for tagging along this video this far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching everybody and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.